I am a sculptor and installation artist based in New York. I explore social political conflicts through architecture. I investigate the use of architecture as a tool for division or as a measure to generate identity. I use acts of construction and deconstruction in order to create objects and fictional environments that allows me to question social conventions and to form a new type of architecture, a non-declared one, with a call for use and yet no clear function. For me, sculpture and installation allows me to push the limits of the built environment and appropriating and repurposing it. My recent project deals with themes of forced migration and proliferation of security culture. During my residency at BMS, I was inspired by this space. Three months in BMS allowed me to explore the formal stage of the sculptures I created. I didn't want to finish the sculpture, I wanted to stay in this kind of raw stage where it's still made of wood and I can manipulate it, break it down and try it in different order. The large studio space at BMS is unique. I had the chance to step back and look at the prototypes I built. For example, one of the prototypes that I made during the residency at BMS is titled Unit 7, which is a one-person living unit, a vessel that can function as a shelter, a place to hide, or a cell. These structures are meant to be interactive, inviting the viewer to go in, to explore the sense of belonging. In my work, I create a system, an apparatus, that is completed through the experience of the viewer with the piece. I see the gallery as a laboratory, as a space for experiment, and the viewers are part of it. They are collaborators. The viewers can activate the sculpture, the installation, or the show. I don't have ownership over the installation. I build a system that, in a way, is independent and autonomous. One of the projects I developed at BMS is the video tour, which means standing in line in Hebrew. This video shows a person walking within barriers and slowly multiplying. The intention was to create an in-between space with an infinite movement of crossing, crossing between destinations, crossing between states, and crossing between identities. What is the space of crossing? This walk repurposing crowd control and political structures which dictates our movement in space. But in this walk, it creates a new space, an unknown one, a free one. Pimes gave me the opportunity to transform two-dimensional drawings into three-dimensional structures. For example, I build a space for one person. This structure meant to dissolve in the existing architecture, almost as a camouflage in an urban environment, offering a place to hide. When I build these kind of structures, I see them as an experiment. There is no commitment. It's just a way to find out something, to discover a sense, a feeling. Will I be able to consider that space as my home? Do I belong there? <laughs>